Hello everyone, today's vlog is going to be talking about what it was like to visit Atlanta in the height of a pandemic. Keep on watching to find out. So the start of our trip began in North Carolina and the place we visited was the Paul J. Senior Botanical Garden. It was absolutely beautiful, I will link it down below. If I recall correctly, their shop was not open. However, you were able to roam about the gardens because it was out in open air. If you've never frolicked, highly recommend it. Never before seen on camera, my wind bending powers. After enjoying the beautiful scenery at the Botanical Garden, we made the about six hour trip to our family in Georgia. I didn't even know Georgia had this much water to be honest guys, but it is beautiful. We chilled a little bit at our family's home and then the next day we drove the two hours to Atlanta. And who can forget this gentleman in the back of somebody's pickup truck trying to light his ciggy while they go 60 miles per hour. He was ready for work, y'all. We finally made it into Atlanta and y'all, I was so, so happy. There was so much beautiful art that I honestly can't wait to share with you guys in this video. The streets were lined with graffiti, giving us a really colorful welcome into the city. What I truly enjoyed most about most of the art that we were seeing was that it was black created and black centered. Our first stop was a vegan barbecue joint and oh my god y'all, I saw the cutest puppy ever. I hope he's doing well. Grass VBQ was absolutely amazing, 10 out of 10. I got a chicken sandwich, he got a hot chicken sandwich. There's no escaping that it's your destiny to die by my hand. Since it is destiny, let's begin this. I'd like to see what the hand of God is all about. Gladly. After tearing up all of that vegan goodness, we headed over to the Target. It was so packed. Even though it was a pandemic, it was truly packed. Fit check! But yeah, we ended up leaving right away because the line was so long, it didn't make sense to buy the one thing we wanted. The homes here were absolutely beautiful. And a lot of the neighborhoods that we were in gave me such Pittsburgh vibes. Like, I truly just wanted to pack up my things and move into Atlanta. This little five points area specifically gave me Southside Pittsburgh vibes.
We visited the Honeypot Metaphysical Shop and it was amazing. I didn't take any videos inside out of respect, but I truly recommend you guys go on there. It is in Euclid Ave in the Little Five Points neighborhood. It's a very indie, hippie area. I saw a lot of diversity. There was lots and lots of art. And like I said, it gave me Southside vibes, but so much better. We went into this lingerie shop that was right by Honey Pot and I loved this poster. So from Honey Pot I got some Anise stars and I also got this amazing Love Your Inner Goddess deck. Highly recommend. The art is beautiful. So from Five Points, we made our way into the old Fourth Ward neighborhood to visit the Ponce Market, which honestly, guys, it really basically is just a massive mall. So this day, I thought the mall was pretty busy, but when I visited in 2021, it was even more busy. We went to go check out the Victorian, which is a plant shop at the mall. And this store, like many other stores, had a capacity limit. So after waiting a little bit, I did finally get to go inside of the store. Oh. It, it, there you go girl and this mini greenhouse was so beautiful it truly inspired me to make one at home so that my cats don't eat all of my plants we stopped for some gelato this is not vegan but at the time we were vegetarian we visited this adorable bookshop. In this vlog, I didn't get much footage, but in my 2021, you will see much more of it. After having a wonderful day in Atlanta, we made the two hour drive back to our family's home. The next day, we had a delicious vegetarian breakfast, and then we were on our way back home. Before we left though, I made sure to enjoy some time looking at the sky because the view outside of their home is absolutely gorgeous. And there was a rainbow! So not only did we get a rainbow, we got a 333. And we also got a 555 angel number. So y'all, if you're watching this, please go after your dreams. I swear so many of us are like Woody and Buzz like in the back of this truck. We're Woody, we're trying to hold on and Spirit had got a rope out here for us and they're just saying please, please hold on. Don't give up guys. But yeah, both last year and this year on the way back it was raining and I also saw rainbows too. I don't know if it's the season or something but we'll see. Maybe if in 2022 if it also rains and is misty. I'm gonna say that it is just like, it's meant to be. After like seven hours of driving, we finally made it back to Pennsylvania. I'm so glad we had a wonderful trip and we came back safely. Stay tuned for part two.